All right. I want to begin by thanking the organizers of this um, event. I recall that uh, last year I represented the DG year and um, the outcomes of that event are still being um, regarded very uh, highly. And uh, I'm sure that this year's event is, is not going to be different. I'd also like to recognize the um, presence of uh, all guests, particularly those who have spoken before me. Um, I was taking very, uh, notes on the, uh, at, from their present, uh, presentations and um, I think that my, my uh, the DG's paper is going to uh, resonate with most of the important points that have been made already on um, infrastructure, identity, value from data, you know, and, and so on. Um, as has been uh, mentioned, I am representing the Director General of NIDA, Mr. Kashif Inoua Abdullahi, who is unavoidably absent. It's a great pleasure to be here again. And the following um, paper would be, would be representing the thoughts and uh, and contributions of the DG. May peace, mercy, and blessings be upon you all. It gives me great pleasure to be invited to this prestigious event to share my views on how e-government can digitally transform Nigeria into a global, into a world-class economy and restructure our electoral and other government processes. As you are aware, properly administered elections are consequential to the growth of democracy and civic development. Electronic governance or e-governance involves the use of information and communications technology to deliver government services. The introduction of stationary and machine gadgets of various kinds, including calculators, typewriters, computers, among others in the administration of governance dates back to the formative period of the Nigeria public service. However, e-government was introduced in the late 1990s. Governments may embrace technological solutions for more efficiency and more rationalized public ex expenses. However, it is deliberately or not democratic processes could be enhanced with more endeavors. E-governance or e-democracy e and e-government are sometimes used as synonyms, which creates a misconception. E-democracy, also referred to as e-participation and digital democracy, includes providing accessibility to officials and the archives of government bodies and permitting citizens' participation through information and communication technologies regarding issues of public interest. E-democracy in this stream can be accepted as the electronic participation of citizens in activities that partially disperse government authority, which allows citizens to directly influence decision-making processes in public-related issues. I think we are seeing that uh, uh, we are seeing a, an increasing uh, flow of that, uh, which is um, the the results of the, the massive investments that both governments and non-state agents are making um, in technology, which is you know, for that democratizing governance or self-governance, as, as it were, enabling more people to um, be included in the decision-making processes. And this election year is, and we are seeing a, a lot more of that people are um, exercising leadership, all because of what technology is enabling. E-voting constitutes a very important aspect of ICT-enabled democratic governance. It generally aims at increasing participation of citizens in the electoral process and improving the outcomes of elections by addressing challenges associated 
with traditional voting practices. Those e-voting technologies support one or more of the major phases of the electoral process from registration stage to the pre-voting phase to election balloting and verification and to counting or tallying after voting. E-government, as we all know, is a two-way communication process which utilizes information and communication technology to deliver exercise timely and confident government services for citizens. The application of e-government has become an important mechanism in enhancing citizen participation, monitoring and evaluating government projects, ensuring government accountability and transparency, as well as transferring information from one sector to another. In other words, even in, a, in, in, a, in an election year particularly, the government affords us, us citizens and, and stakeholders generally you know, a, a greater role in, in terms of exerting accountability and responsibility across all sides. A government year is considered as a body that is composed of the interaction of three parts, which is e-democracy, e-administration, and e-service. E-democracy represents citizens' relationships with the state. E-service represents the relationship between citizens and public administration. Whereas e-administration is a digitization of the processes and procedures within the governmental agencies to provide support for decision makers. At this point, I would also like to um, make reference to the, um, Dr. Koka's presentation on massive information infrastructure uh, buildup. So this 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 are the the uh, the the kind of you know uh, environment that continue to enable both citizens and, and government to exert more value, particularly in the area of of access to data and the capacity to you know to extract value from from data. The inclusion of citizens in decision in decisions on matters that directly concern them has not only become a demand for social movements, but also a priority for the different governments. E government services can be cat categorized as a government to citizens. There's a process where government renders ICT services to citizens, that is, the use of media to pass relevant information. NIN registration, uh, registration of uh, uh, granting of licenses to, to, um, to organizations, as, uh, railway ticketing, uh, examples of how government is increasingly enhancing uh, access of its, of its services to government. We can equally cite the protection of data subjects as provided by the Nigeria Data Protection Regulation 2019, the creation of data protection control organizations, which the National Court Data has uh, talked about, you know, as examples of how um, the government services you know, are increasingly being um, uh, made available to citizens. Government to businesses, in this case, the interaction between governments to, to, um, and businesses with the aim of establishing transparency in the, in the, in the business environment. Neither grants registration for ICT companies providing services to federal public institutions. Um, the approved um, um, type products, we approve OEM registration. You know, with a view to enhancing the, the overall quality of these um, entities. And uh, thirdly, the government, uh, government which um, is a component where the government in, in, um, in, um, ensures that there is adequate IT infrastructure to, to support other government organizations and, in, and improve interactions between, between governments. Earlier on, um, the as you are aware, rather, the National Digital Economic uh, Policy and Strategy is, is one of such uh, strategies or uh, platforms 
we also have a, a national e-government master plan, which is in its uh, second phase. And this is at, at this phase, there's a, a lot of uh, focus around you know, um, integrating uh, um, government services, improving uh, one stops or, or reducing the, the, the need for uh, um, citizens to, uh, to repeat services where they can have you know, single service uh, connections uh, enhance um, their overall uh, uh, service satisfaction. Government to employees you know, allows sharing of information between government and employees remotely and providing government uh, and provide and provide human resource uh, development. Participatory democracy is a major requirement for achieving e-governance, particularly where majority of the citizenry is disenchanted the electioneering or democratic process or governance. For a successful adoption of e-voting and e-government, grassroots mobilization through um, e-democracy is encouraged. Government encourages the practice of responsible self-governance whereby non-state urgents engage actively in civic governance as a means of promoting interaction between the electorates and the elites through the adoption of e-democracy. This in turn encourages property, transparency, accountability, and participation in governance. Governments around the world are investing heavily to improve the quality of public services they provide to, to citizens. Nigeria is not left behind. As the federal government of Nigeria has successfully deployed the government solutions, which include, you mentioned a few, the um, treasury single account, integrated personnel and payroll information systems, the government integrated personnel financial management systems and uh, BVM registrations, and Mean and among others. The National Information Technology Development Agency, which is taxed with the responsibility of regulating information technology in Nigeria, has an e government master plan that promotes the use of e government uh, at sub national and, and um, local government levels. This is you know, to further you know, um, um, move the aspirations of the government at the national level to ensure that state and local governments are also um, developing at, at the same uh, pace. A number of states have benefited from this initiative. And at the federal level, th th there's a body which, among others, is ensuring that the, uh, at the, the right uh, ICT capacity and leadership is, is defined in the public service, which is the, the technical um, digital transformation technical engine. Technology has made it easier for creative minds to improve social services in health, education, finance, power, agriculture, defense, among other industries, you know, as the transformation from analog to digital. These technological advances have made Nigeria demand for the adoption of digital technologies that would change the electoral processes and improve the, gov the governance in the country. The unique future of e-government in the election year is the increasing use of private or non-state infrastructure. For example, mobile phones, you know, other you know, devices. And Nigeria is the case because of the high mobile penetration rate in the level in Nigeria. A lot of Nigerians are utilizing personal devices and private networks to disseminate information relating to the forthcoming general election. This also makes the tax of data protection even more you know, uh, urgent, not just for the, for the states, but for the individuals themselves. The role of government is to ensure that non-state actors, including individuals and private businesses, act responsibly and uphold the common interests of the Nigerian sovereigns. In this regard, NIDA recently released the product practice for interactive computer services platforms and internet intermediaries. The Inter in in Independent National Electoral Commission has adopted technological ad um, ad um, solutions like the optic map registration forms, which has which was introduced in 2004, 
correct data capture machines in 2010, smart card reader, and permanent voter registration. These are all mediums that improve transparency and Adoption of electronic voting and transmission of results has the potential to drastically limit the prospect of electoral violence. Because as long as the polling stations are well secured, political talks will have little or no influence over proceedings as the results will be transmitted within minutes or seconds to the population centers. As the 2023 election comes closer, Electronic voting will play a paramount role. E-voting is becoming a standard in the electoral processes around the world. And Nigeria is poised to improve its ranking on the Global E-Government Index, as well as to the line of countries like Estonia, Brazil, India, Philippines, and Australia that have all introduced e-voting at various levels in their political systems. Some benefits of e-voting are one developing interest in casting which cost of electoral process, which is uh, reduced the nature of the, electoral, the cost of elections, very expensive exercise worldwide, time to be saved, counting of votes and declaration of results is, is, is faster. Results are accurate, accuracy of results due to elimination of um, or reduction of human error, increased voter participation, uh, uh, drum, basically from confidence in the system, audio ballot paper for blind voters, time saving for it at polling units, the major reason why people do not turn up for a vote, and reduce malpractice regarding a vote buying. The challenge of e, of e elections may remain, and surely there will be sitting problems when elections move. This includes inadequate and um, Involving capacity of individuals at INEC and other stakeholders, and, and as well as voters to understand the rudiments of e elections and to use complex electronic equipment in the course of voting. Also, because of the peculiarities of the Nigerian crisis of power supply and maintenance issues, adopting e electronic e elections might chaotic at first, but with time, the people will get to it get used to it and embrace it because it, it's, it's, it, it um, improves um it brings it just a lot of benefits so both the, the voters and the and, and the voters. E elections will reduce rigging at the elect at the electorate as the electorate would, would monitor track their votes and monitor monitor the devices as a result of flow. In such an age of electron of information revolution, democracy can only be enhanced by maximally exploring information technology to change politics of for democratic sustainability in Nigeria. In this end, I would like to appreciate the organizers of the e-government summit 2022, DigiSurf Network Services Limited, the Nigeria Communications Commission. The Nigeria Inland Revenue Service, the Association of Telecommunications Companies of Nigeria, the Association of Licensed uh, Telecoms Operators of Nigeria, the, data, the, Niger, the Nigeria Data Protection Bureau, and all others uh, who have made this event uh, possible. We also like to extend our sincere appreciation to service providers present, MDAs, and other experts that are contributing to the success of this summit. We thank you.